when I play the games, I don't necessarily look at the characters and see, oh my god, that's myself. I do feel a huge amount of responsibility to succeed within the game, because I do feel I will be letting myself down as well as a fictional character if I do badly. I bought the first one when it first came out, and I played it all the way through, and I got stuck on the last level. It was kind of embarrassing, and I couldn't do it, so I had to stop playing it. I think it was, must have been the fourth one. And you could just like wander around Hogwarts and go through all the sets. You could just sort of um, fly the broom around around the castle. I, I really like that. I just I used, to, I used to just go and explore around Hogwarts. So that was not. I really enjoyed that. But that is what's great about the games. It does yeah. allow, you know, anybody who's a fan of the books or the films to actually then live their own adventure. And I enjoy playing the games myself because you you know, having been there, you know, having walked in the real Great Hall, you can step in there in the game. And and for me, it feels just the same. All the characters are really, really good, and all the, the, the baddies as well are really cool. Like Voldemort's, he's quite cool. Now is the time to declare yourself. He saved your life. Well done, Greg. Who will be next? I couldn't be happy about being the bad boy of Hogwarts. I initially uh, auditioned for Harry and, and Ron, because um, obviously they were, the, they were the main parts at the time, and, uh, and eventually went for Draco. Um, and succeeded in getting it. Now that's a dream job. You're for it now, Potter. Run! The thing I like about the games is, you know, it gives me a chance to feel like I'm kind of really performing the spells because when you do them on film, with your wand, nothing comes out. It's just a stick. Whereas you do feel slightly more involved when you actually, when you have a reaction from the screen of the game. I dueled with Tom Felton and I beat him three times. I lost three games in a row, all because I felt I was slightly biased. He was he was playing as Draco as well. I played as Draco though, and he played as Harry. So how much of that he really wanted to win, I don't know. Draco is an unbeatable character, clearly. You know, I'm sure that someone taught him some moves that I didn't know. So here I was, sort of flapping my arms about endlessly, and he was just doing a little side thing. You swish to down to the left and it, it kept like taking half his life and then another half and then that was it. There will be a rematch, mark my words. That's my wand, Potter. You want it, you'll have to win it back. I do like enjoy playing the baddie, he's just a bit more uh, well fun really, you know, put it in a nutshell. But I do like Ron as well. I've got a little soft spot for him. I've never actually admit that I don't think but I'd like to play him. He's a bit of a comedian and a bit of a klutz, in a sense, but he's also very sweet. I suppose it'd be quite, quite cool to play Ron, yeah. Ron was always my favourite character in the books. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. I've always been a really big fan of the books. That's sort of how I got, got into the, the films, really, because um, Newsround were advertising for kids to um, Sending like application forms and sending like photos, and I made this like rap song of <laughs> how much I wanted to be in the film, and didn't get a reply back for about two months, something like that. We did it! Yeah, but we've still got to save Neville from the ghoul. I think if I remember right, I'd read the first four books before I went for my first audition for the film. I was just content with going for the audition and um, to say I went for an audition for that. And then to get any part would have been even better, but to get a character like Neville was just, yeah, it's mind-blowing. It's brilliant. Like Hogwarts wants us to fight back. It's not a role that I think anybody that meets me would immediately go, ah, you are perfectly suited to play an action hero, you know. Um, I'm quite diminutive, to, to say the least, you know. But, um, but to be honest, I think that's what makes it quite cool, is that, you know, Harry is not your average action hero by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he's, uh, he's somebody who is put into extraordinary situations and m manages to sort of make the best of them. What the Potter games do really well and what they have done brilliantly as a, as a series of games is they have tracked the journeys of the film. So the first two games were, were you know, a little bit frightening and, and very exciting. But they were, you know, they were really, really good fun and bright and colourful and, you know, all, all that great stuff that we associate particularly with those early Potter movies. You know, as the films have gone on, they've got, they have got progressively darker along with the games. And I've just, I suppose, enjoyed seeing that transition and, the, and seeing the amount of care that's taken by the people who make the games to ensure that it is a faithful sort of adaptation of the film and of the books. Um, so seeing that kind of journey has been wonderful over the last ten years.